there is no question that Christianity has been modified from its original intent and original beliefs. The first Christians were Jews who did not believe that Jesus was divine. Many Christians pick and choose the passages they want to believe and ignore others such as, call no man your father. Some of the assertions in today's view are outrageous. For example, kill your disobedient son. There are Bible absurdities. Moses records his own death. Who recorded the conversations of Jesus alone in the wilderness with Satan? In addition, some of the basics of Christianity were changed to suit the times. Archaeological evidence simply refutes some of the biblical stories. Nazareth did not exist at the time of Jesus. The Dead Sea Scrolls eliminates the notion of Bible literacy. Just Exodus had 12 different versions to it. Doublets and triplets also discredit the literal Bible such as Matthew's Sermon on the Mount and Luke's same Sermon on the Plain. Which story is accurate? It's possible they are both wrong. Canonization was the choice of the church at the time. They only included four of the 150 known Gospels. What authority makes the decision as to what goes in the Bible? Answer, assumed authority. There are numerous mistranslations, some of them unintentional, and some intentional to enhance beliefs. The term Son of God is used by Christian apologists to claim Jesus' divinity, but Son of God did not mean divinity 2,000 years ago. The word kingdom is another example of Christians changing the meaning of words to suit their agenda. Kingdom was repeatedly used by Jesus and did not have anything to do with heaven or following a religious belief for a reward. Kingdom was a description of Israel after it was restored to prosperity once people went back to the Word of God. There is nothing in Scripture to justify the historical distortions such as celibacy, suicide, and abortion. Many cultural misunderstandings have either been overlooked or rationalized by Christians today. The Eucharist story of drinking blood is a horror to Jews, and it shows that the Gospels were not written by witness or Jews. The Gospel writers must have been written by outsiders, probably from different cultures, different languages, and at a later time. And that Paul was the Antichrist. Paul's agenda was the exact opposite to that of Jesus. In other words, forming a new religion versus reforming Judaism. What does this all mean? First of all, biblical literalism is out. To believe that every word or story in the Bible is literally true, when two or more accounts of the same thing are diametrically opposed, makes it impossible to be true. The response that God works in mysterious ways doesn't cut it. Nor should the Bible be considered a historical document we know that many of the biblical stories, events, and locations have to be wrong due to all of the discrepancies.